WWE NXT live October 30th from Full Sail University in Winter Park, Florida. Kabuki Warriors main roster tag team return to NXT to face Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox team kick for the WWE Women's Tag Team titles. This match went on for a very long time. It was very good if you like technical wrestling. The match started off with Asuka and Tegan Knox. Very quickly, the momentum was stopped by Asuka when she kicked Tegan Knox and knocked her to the floor. Io Shirai then was tagged in and exchanged some really stiff chops with Tegan Knox in the center of the ring. Before our first commercial break, Tegan Knox and Dakota Kai try to hit baseball slides to the outside. Once again, Dakota Kai's leg gets caught in the ring apron. It's almost disastrous. We come back from commercial break. Dakota Kai is using her kicks on Asuka until Asuka hits a nasty dragon screw leg whip that stops all the momentum of Team Kick. Io Shirai gets tagged in and for the next five or six minutes, Shirai and Asuka tag in and out working on Dakota Kai's leg. We go to a second commercial break. Dakota Kai tries to come back, hits a scorpion backwards kick on Io Shirai, finally tags in Tegan Knox, who hits a choke slam on Shirai, tries a shining wizard on Asuka, it's reversed into a knee bar. She once again tags in Dakota Kai, who tries to go for a go to sleep, but is hit with the green poison mist from Asuka. After that, Kyrie Sane is tagged in, hits an insane elbow. One, two, three. The champions retain their titles in a successful return to NXT. The bout's over and all hell breaks loose. The women's locker room empties out. And Lord Steven Regal calls for the first women's fall brawl war games match to take place at the next NXT TakeOver.